What's up everybody and welcome back to Pimping Pixels, the only design show that will teach you the tips, tricks, and techniques you need to become a pro. I am your host Gregory Thielen, Adobe Certified Expert, and today we have a very special episode for you After Effects users. What we're going to do is show you guys the brand new plugin Element 3D by Video Copilot, and we're going to review it for you. So we'll let you know whether it's good, if it's worth your money, or if it's not, but uh, spoiler alert, it's pretty awesome. It's like really, really good. So uh, let's just jump into it and show you what it's all about. So Element 3D is a plugin for After Effects which allows you to work and manipulate 3D objects. Now Element has a handful of preset objects that are already inside the plugin, but they also offer more objects that you could buy extra, or you could just import any OBJ file that you might have. Element also has preset materials that you can use to really make your objects look amazing. Plus you can fine tune all the settings on any given material and get it looking just the way that you want it to. Outside of making your objects look amazing, you have some really great controls to really push your object over the edge, such as the Particle Replicator. And you can use the Particle Replicator to create some really cool and interesting effects like this right here. So once you have your object looking the way you want, you can start really having fun by adding a new camera layer to your composition. This way you can pan and rotate around your object in 3D space and create some really sweet looking animations. So there's a lot to this plugin as you could already see, but let's see how well it actually performs even on my low-end Mac. So for being able to use 3D objects inside of After Effects, this plugin is actually super fast. Granted, your performance will be based off of your system specs, but as you can see here, I'm running a lower-end video card and it runs great. Side note though, I am also running 12 gigs of RAM in this Mac also, so that definitely helps out a lot too. Now on a normal run, when using Element, you'll see that even at full resolution, it runs really, really well. But if we bring it down to half res, it's like 10 times faster and even more responsive. Plus, as a general rule, you should always be working in half res anyway. This way it makes your entire workflow faster and just switch it back to full res whenever you really need to see detail in your composition. Now when you're using multiple objects or if you have a bunch of different particles and you really want to make it look as realistic as possible, one really good way of doing that is by adding ambient occlusion. And what this does, it will give soft shadows to your objects and your particles. And on top of that, if you want, you have uh, fine-tuned controls that you can use to really make it look exactly how you want it to. If you're like me, and you're not too familiar with working with 3D lighting, no worries, because Element has its own lighting presets built into the plugin. Underneath the lighting tab, you can find a bunch of different lighting styles that you can use. And you could even refine these settings if you look under additional lighting. And you could fine tune these settings to however you want to really make your object look great. Element can even make your text 3D. And the best part is you can use all those shaders, materials, and textures on it. And you can even use those extra features like ambient occlusion and the built-in lighting to really make your text stand out. So Element 3D has its own add-ons that make this plugin even better. For starters, they have the Pro Shaders, which add 200 advanced materials that you can use on any of your objects. And on top of that, they have a bunch of different object packs, which I believe I mentioned before, like they have their Bullet Pack, their Sports Pack, and just really cool looking objects. Each one of these object packs has high-def 3D models that can be used not just for Element, but also for other 3D programs like 3D Studio Max, Cinema 4D, and even Maya. Element 3D is a must-have, even if you just have a basic knowledge of After Effects. Now, I personally have been staying away from 3D programs like 3D Studio Max, Maya, and Cinema 4D because I just found them all like way too hard to get into and I never really had the time to learn them. However, I know After Effects, and Element 3D makes working with 3D objects inside of After Effects super easy, super fun, and once you guys start using it, you'll have a blast with it, and you just 
want to add 3D to everything. Even if you don't need 3D in your project, you're going to be thinking, how do I add 3D into this? How can I make it work? Because it's just that easy to do. You just want to do it with everything. So definitely go out and get it because it's insanely worth it. So if you guys want to see some in-depth videos and tutorials on how to use Element 3D, then all you have to do is head over to videocopilot.net and you guys can see how easy it is to create cool looking objects like this. So what are you guys waiting for? Go download Element 3D for After Effects today and keep on pimping them pixels. What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Pimping Pixels, the only design show that will teach you to... that will teach Pixel to shut up. What we're gonna do is show you guys the brand new plugin, Element 3D, and we'll show you how to make cool looking stuff like this. Desktop. Ooh, 3D, 3D, that looks cool. 